Hi Simpson fans and welcome to my up close look at the new, brand new D23 Japan 2018 Expo A Whole New World, Part of Your World, Beauty and the Beast Simpson Collection Now as you can see this is the lovely box and the box is empty as I have taken them out I've taken them out really really carefully I've removed the tape that was along here I've also removed the tape that was along here and I like to do that with boxes anyway because over time tape um, gets very sticky and sometimes it goes brown so I think it's always best to remove tape anyway but this is the box they came in and it's a really nice box it's nice and sturdy, it's slightly sturdier than kind of your average one that you would get on some, some Tuesday and then this is the back um, and obviously it's got all the information in Japanese um, and its price tag um, and this was from the Japan Disney Store but released as part of their D23 Expo range okay so yeah really nice packaging so this was a Disney Princess Prince kind of themed box um, and the main reason I wanted this because as you will know, if you have watched lots of my videos, I am absolutely Beauty and the Beast obsessed. And so when I saw that they were going to be in this set, I just had to have them. So let's look at them one at a time. So this is the Beast that comes with it, which when I first saw it, I thought that looks remarkably like the Beast that we got in the other Japan release. Um, when just looking at it in the box. But then I took it out of the box and I noticed just how fluffy he is. They have really, really made an effort to make this one different to the previous release. And the previous one was not as soft as this. So he is really, really lovely. He's got the same little goatee, the same kind of weird sticky out nose, the same horns and ears. Um, this part is separate, which is really nice for the top of his waistcoat. This is quite soft as well. And then he's got this gorgeous fluffy tail. Um, then he has his feet, which are also nice and fluffy. His yellow um, bottom. Yeah, and his, and his lovely blue eyes. So he's, he's really nice. I really like this. He's got a really lovely face. They've made a nice effort to make his ears in a nice position um, and get this kind of in the middle as well. And the detailing as well. He's got his little fangs and the stitching for his mouth. He's a really nice beast. Um, and then we have Belle and she's got kawaii eyes, so she's got the sleeping eyes, which is really nice. It makes her different to any release that I've ever been aware of before. She has the new hairstyle that they did for the previous Japan release. So with the UK and US previous releases, she had this kind of like Dracula hairstyle. And then for the Japan release, they changed it to this kind of flatter. And then this is follows on from that as well with her lovely sleeping eyes. She has the blush still and her eyebrows, which are way, way up high. She's even got little eyelashes. So that's nice. And then on the bottom, she's got a, her gloves and her shoes, which are the same colour. Her yellow bottom. But... The bit that makes it really special for me is her dress. Again, her hair is pretty similar. They have stuffed her hair, her bun, which is nice to feel, because I don't like that when they leave there, it's empty. But her dress has been done really nicely. And I think that's what makes this set for me. They've used this shimmery material, the same one they've used for Beast. She's got this lovely little tag that they all the Japan ones get that unlike we do in the US and the UK. They're all long and horrible. But this is a nice little one. And then her dress, which is just gorgeous. It's double layered. So she's got like a an underskirt and an overskirt. And then it has sewn on these beads as well. So I'm really pleased with her to add her to my Ever increasing Beauty and the Beast collection. So there is Beauty and the Beast together. I think it's a shame they didn't give him the same eyes, to be honest. 
um, just to make him look a bit more different. But yeah, nice little pair. So let's take a look at Ariel and Flounder. Now, a lot of people we've been discussing on the groups where I get these from, why have we got Belle and Beast? And I'll show you who else we've got in a second. But then we've got Ariel and we've got Flounder. Why is it not Ariel and Eric? We don't know. Um, but she, we obviously she is kawaii, sleeping eyes, Ariel. Lovely detail in her hair. They've sewn on these beads, which is a really nice touch. And she is the mermaid version of herself. Which kind of makes sense that they've put her with Flounder then, to be honest. Um, because we all said, you know, why, why Flounder? Why not Eric? But they've put her in the mermaid form. So I didn't know that before. So that kind of makes more sense why they have put her with Flounder. And that's a really nice touch. Obviously, she only has front hands. She has nothing on the back because obviously... She has a fin. It's the attention to detail like that that I just love from Disney. She's also got red eyebrows. Sorry, that's not focusing. There we go. Okay. So then we have Flounder. Again, he is in his fish form and he's got the same material fin as Ariel. This is all sewn. I like how they've done that actually, that's that's nice. They're a little bit see-through, different material, winking eye. It's nice and symmetrical. Fin that sticks up a little bit. And then these beads that are supposed to, I suppose, look a bit like bubbles. And Ariel has the same. Kind of covered in bubbles like she's underwater. So yeah, that's nice. Like I said, now I can see that she is um, mermaid Ariel. It makes sense that she is with Flounder and not Eric. Okay, and last but not least, the other pair in the box, because we got six, was Aladdin and Jasmine. And previously I'd only ever had a Posh Paws version of Aladdin and Jasmine. So I was really excited actually to get like a really nice pairing of them. So this is Aladdin's face. Really nice, really soft hair. He's got his ears. And this is all sewn on. This is like um, gold painted on with the detailing and his little gem, which is really nice. Then he's got this lovely cloak on. His cloak lifts up. Similar material underneath with the embroidery. Going all the way around, and then he has hands and these kind of gold prince shoes. So that's that's nice. That's a nice attention to detail. So yeah, he's really nice. And then Jasmine, she's got kawaii sleeping eyes. She's got this gem on the top, embroidered headband. And then her dress has been really nicely made. Again, they've done her hair really nicely, embroidered her little bands. And then she's got this lovely shiny material where they've put the skirt on, which is you know, really close to what she has on in the, in the film as well, so that's nice. Again, she's got different coloured shoes and her hands, skin coloured hands. She's really nice. So that is Jasmine and Ariel. Really cute. Okay. So that was the set. We got Aladdin and Jasmine. Um, we got Beast and Belle. And we got Flounder and Ariel. And they came, they sat in the box. Um above each other, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but yeah, they're a really nice set. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased I got them. So let me know what you think of them down in the comments. Yeah, 
really nicely made, really nice set. And like I said, much nicer. Now I've got them in my hands than I thought they were going to be. Um, with probably Belle and Beast as my favourite, which probably doesn't surprise you. So thanks for watching. Do let me know down in the comments what you think and if you're going to get this set. And if you think, why don't they bring out more sets like this in the UK? Lovely little box sets that are really nicely made. These are not like your standard Sims and Tuesday Sims. They are of, of a higher quality with much nicer tags. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.